It's been a spring of records, heat, floods, tornadoes. We asked John Blackstone to see if there's something behind it all. In Hawaii in June, there's snow with people on sleds instead of surfboards. The island's tallest volcanic peak does see snow in winter, but it's been at least 30 years since there's been anything like this. I don't know if it has to do with the world climate change or what, but I don't know, it's sort of cool. Almost every part of the country has had extreme weather lately. Some blame La Nina, the cyclical cooling of the Pacific near the equator. In La Nina years, rain patterns in the U.S. change. Less in the south, more in the Pacific Northwest. But this La Nina has now been declared over, and maybe only a small part of a complicated mix. A lot of this comes down to the chaos in the atmosphere. There are, there are so many things going on, and we, we just don't have the tools to measure every single one of them. One of the big things going on is a particularly strong jet stream. For much of this year, these high-level winds have been stuck in a pattern that brought lots of rain and snow to the west and north and kept the plains and south exceptionally dry. We've been locked in with this low pressure in the west, high pressure in the east. The result, terrible floods in the Mississippi Basin and drought in the southwest, part of the reason Arizona is now burning. But perhaps the biggest weather troublemaker has been in the Gulf of Mexico, where sea surface temperatures have been almost two degrees above average. That warm, moist Gulf air meeting the powerful jet stream created the string of tornadoes that killed 525 people. While weather records of some kind are set almost every year, this year has seen tornadoes, floods and drought of historic proportions. And having all those in little more than a month is unprecedented, Scott. John, why is the Gulf of Mexico hotter than usual? Well, it's related to the drought in the in the south in the south southwest with little clouds, lots of sunshine, the water's warming up and those warm waters could add energy to this hurricane season as well. Thanks, John.